Hey, so I switched to the Westerm Terminal Emulator recently. I really like it. I don't think I'm going back and I think you'll like it too. So let's talk about it. So previously I used a terminal emulator called Alacrity. I've talked about it a ton on my channel. And as you can see, I like the background color and I like the simplistic window and that sort of opacity that lets me see part of the background. Um, I think it looks good, and so I just really enjoy this workflow. However, I found from my previous blazing fast window management talk that the managing of desktops became really clunky and took a lot of sort of psychic RAM um, and became this thing where the moment that I had more than one window on the screen, you could see the window that was active, but as soon as it went away, um, and we were to focus back, we end up with this weird stacked issue where I really couldn't have more than one window on this desktop at a time, otherwise this sort of thing would happen and not really the look I was going for. Enter Westerm. I swapped out terminal emulators. I got myself a couple of cool new features, uh, including still having a background image while not running into the issue of the terminal emulator having that sort of overlay problem that I discussed before. You'll also notice that my background, my wallpaper is also black um, and that gets rid of the top notch on the MacBook Pro. If you're familiar with that notch, um, that goes away completely if you set your wallpaper to black and stage manager also looks incredibly good when the background is set to black. It makes all the windows on the side pop really nicely and um, so far it's been just such a refreshing and nice workflow to not have to think about all of this all the time. Westerm has a lot of cool features I wanna cover, including the ability to change the wallpaper with a key command, which I have set to command R. So I have things like screenshots from video games I've played, to images I've generated with AI, um, to just beautiful places, um, and even sometimes just cool gradients. So I'm able to rotate between these at random, but it makes for an interesting time. During my work day, I want to break things up and just want something to, you know, switch up the scenery, so to speak. So Westerm is configured using a programming language called Lua, which I've talked about before. What's great about it is you can break up your configuration into multiple files. You can use programming concepts like objects and tables and functions and loops and all sorts of things like that in order to create your own features or just extend existing functionality with Westerm. Now you can see here that I have a git wallpaper. And so all this does is look at a directory and ignore the DS store and just get a random entry. And so this is literally just a function that will loop through the table and generate a random number based off of how many entries there are and just return that value. And so again, every time I run it, it just picks something at random, which is really, really simple, but um, it makes for a fun experience, uh, not knowing what's gonna come up next. Westerm allows you to have layers, and so you can have a layer on top of your image, so you can sort of stack backgrounds. It can be images, it can be colors, it can be gradients. My friend Nick Nisi turned me on to Westerm, and he actually has an animated um, background image on his, which is, I think, pretty cool, uh, but often can be a little distracting. Continuing, I also have a way to get a random font and so you can actually see that sometimes the font changes slightly, and that's because I have a list of fonts that I can um, pull from. Um, right now it's all the monospace fonts from GitHub, and I can add and remove entries from here at any time. Next, I'm playing around with color schemes. This can be a little bit overwhelming at times, but I have played around with this idea that every time that I rerun the command that I can get a random set of colors which has been fun, but it gets a little bit tricky with light mode and dark mode. And so it's just kind of not something I've fleshed out completely, but it, it is fun when it kind of lands an interesting combination. And lastly, I'll mention that all of my macOS keyboard bindings that I've mentioned in a previous video all got translated really easily to Westerm using Lua. You can see here I have helper functions that are fairly straightforward in what they do, but it allows me to sort of abstract some of the Westerm config logic and allow me to do all of the mappings that I've mentioned previously before. So that's a brief overview of why I switched to Westerm from Alacrity and some of the cool little features that I've built along the way. 
I'm really enjoying it. It's a GPU powered terminal, so it's just as fast. And what do you think? What's your favorite terminal emulator? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one.